Holy Spirit. Let us start this way of the cross by listening to a reading from scripture. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, my brother, how often I have made these decisions, yet how seldom I recognize your station once I leave the church. Help me to stop this mind you and to recognize you as the true and the afflicted. First station. Jesus makes a difference to the suffering of the world 
by joining all in their grief and pain. Let us pray. Jobs or social help 
compelled to eke out their depressing existence in appalling conditions. Let us pray. Jesus, our brother. shows her love 
by anointing Jesus with what was probably her most precious possession. The suffering of Jesus should provoke us to respond with deeds of love. The suffering face of Jesus is imprinted on so many people and situations in our world. Let us pray. Father,